Yeah, little um, is that a little bony brim? Yeah, glassy. A glassy, oh, glassy brim. What do they call them? Yeah. yeah. And a couple of prawns. Hold him up there, Brooksy. Couple of prawns. Prawny prawnies. Good bait. Into the live tank. We've got a few in there now. So we've got the prawns. I'm not losing. Sorry, mate. You're right. So we've got a few liveies in there now. And we're going to go and uh, check the pots and then go for a wander and see if we can find uh, another fish. A little nibble there. You're on. Nothing there. Brooksy's on. He's come over this way. Swimming around. Whatever he is. Oh, it's a brimbo. Like another brim. That actually looks like a brim. You all right, buddy? I figured that would come on the live lawn. There we go. That's a brim burger. Yeah. If we had to kept the first brim burger. We could have had a couple. We could have had a brim burger each. Uh, I'd say with the turn of the tide, we might get a couple here. There we go, Brooksy. Nice little got brim. A little brim. Uh, we're going to put him on the lyre stick. We can put him on the lyre stick. On the lyre meter. About 27. Put him on the lyre meter. Oh. Oh. See him like that. Sorry, old mate. He's not really impressed. On the lyre meter? He's just over 25. Just over 25? No, yeah, that 27. is a a legal brim mm -hmm. and i think i need to do a catch and cook yep you want to cook him up well i don't want to keep a brim but i think we're going to have to because i think sharks out at the moment sharks are out yeah we're not we're not and we weren't well gonna sharks we, we weren't gonna eat a pike eel no. <laughs> so okay. that is a legal brim uh, we'll if we can get a couple him. we can get a couple we will dispatch him and let the other one go and he'll be good to go so there you go brooksy got another one i've still caught nothing that's nuts. All I got was one prawn and a mullet in the cast net. That was it. So Brooksy's down there. Um, brain spike. Yep. Brain spike, bleed, and straight on ice. Yep. Treat all fish like it's a bluefin tuna. It's, it's really not rocket science. And it's how you end up with the best quality meat. And yep, it's just a great way to go and do it. So brim burger. Rightio, finally got a fish on. Okie dokie. You need to net him? Um, yeah, I've only got a little line, so... Oh, yellow. Okay. Oh, He's only a little brimbo. A little tacker. So, thanks, Brooksy. There we go. I got myself a little brimbo. And he's only a little fella. So he'd be flat out being, what, 20-something centimetres. So what we're going to do is he goes straight back in. So see you, mate. Thank you very much for the good time. And send back someone bigger. And he's off. I'm on the board, Brooksy. <laughs> he's got one. He has oh, one. Oh, thank God for that. It was getting desperate. <laughs> Change of spots. Little brimbo. Just bring him in. I'd say he's a little bit little. He's a little fella. He's not a. Not a huge one. He's not a. I don't think he's a keeper. Nah, not that He's a little bit on the skinny and undersize. What's scary is he'd go really close to being a legal fish. Yeah, yeah, he'd be He's probably just under, probably about 23. But, oh, there's not going to be much meat on him. No, God, no. Yeah, people will do keeper, that's all. I'm doing with fish cakes, but... All right, well, look. Bye. Boom, boom. He's hooked on. We've got one. He's only little. But we're, um... Come on, old mate. There we go. Another little brim. A little brimbo. Oh. Just around Jump him out of there. Your there. Yeah, he's all good. There we go. Another little brim. And he's off. Bye, buddy. And I'm on two. So, 
Look at that double hookup, Brooksy. Good. Good fish. This is like the weirdest angle I've been on in ages for. <laughs> you got bites on your big line too. I think mine just run into it. Oh, I might have run into it, yeah. yeah, yeah drag it in. And I got a brimbo on mine. That's coming in, is it? No, yeah, it's brims around. Uh, brims up. around it, there you Let's go. Up there. What we'll do is. Can you get him there? Yep. Man. Beautiful. Well, you know, now's when a bull shark will grab that line, you know that, line. don't you? Oh, God, yeah. Little Brimbo, he can go back. Yep. Thank you, mate. No worries. See you, little mate. Good day. Good day. We're catching fish. <laughs> At least we're catching fish. It's good. Another Brimbo? Which side are you going, mate? He's going to come straight up. I'm just going to lift him in. Here's that line. Well, it's a good brim. Yeah. You're not a bad little bloke. Is he a second? It could be the second brim. What? You needed one to take home and cook, didn't you? <laughs> I really do. And I'm like guaranteeing I need the one that you catch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll measure him. We'll see how he goes. Here we go, brim bite. See what we've got here. He is from the zero. 26. 26. So he's another legally. 26, yep. Here's another legal fish. Now we're going to have a second one. We've got one, so we have two. Then we've actually got a feed. Then you've got a bit of a feed, yeah. Yeah, right out. Uh, we'll keep it's a plan. Bug. Normally we wouldn't keep the brim like that, but we decided we're going to do a feed. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there and um, just because it is there and it's it's a smaller brim I've got a, a measuring stick there just to show you that that one there we put his nose hard onto there and that is over 25 centimeters which makes him a legal fish he actually goes to nearly if you go into there 20 nearly uh, 27 and a half or so but that is a legal fish off our brim, and this is the reason we don't normally take the brim, is because well and truly illegal fish, but you really don't get too much meat off them. Uh, their gut cavity is pretty small, but you know, you, you'll get a feed and you could whack that in a fry pan and cook it. And um, that's actually what we're gonna do today, I think. So I've got to, I'm gonna cook this really basically with a little bit of oil, a little bit of lime. I actually might do a little bit of butter. Butter and lime, and I'm gonna cook it in the 12 volt stove there um we've got what do we got there 93.7 percent and it is overcast raining horrible at the moment i'm back at home on, on the farm at the moment so um but you have a look into there we've got 13. um so that uh chevy solar panel even when it's overcast like this is still putting uh 0.33 0.32 amps in the in the um into the battery and we've got plenty of power there so uh like i said we've got the whole 93 percent of the battery that's not going to take very long this will take probably about 20 minutes to cook so let's give it a go we'll plug this into there and get this in my belly i've got that turned on there and it's on in there and that is preheating that is really starting to get hot it's only been on for a couple of seconds now now we're going to keep this really simple guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the old brimbo and whack him in the middle there like that um i've got a little bit of lime here so we're going to shove a chunk of lime in there and i reckon one underneath him one on top of him, um, and a little squeeze of the old juice all over him there. It is raining, guys, so um, that's the joy of having the 12-volt system, too. You can um, 
not have to worry about weather like that and still cook something up when you're on the road so um right here, we've got a chunk of butter there i'm going to grab a uh, big chunk of butter and i'm going to shove some butter around it in it put it into there because butter makes everything awesome there we go a little bit underneath a little bit on top and i'll flip this over when it's in there too give it a couple of layers of um a couple of layers of uh, foil around it and throw it in so we'll get this ready and get it in there's my fish all ready to go and what i've done is i'll just grab a bit of baking paper and put that in there in case that leaks so it doesn't get in there everywhere i'm gonna have to try to squeeze him in there he's gonna be a little bit bent on the side so i haven't really thought this through too well there you go he's a little bit on the bent side but he's in and we've got the uh lid onto here a little latch on and put that down and that down you see that's starting to steam up there already and let him cook away well, that was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be because it absolutely started bucketing down rain. But, have a look. She's ready to go. It's been about half an hour and that is cooked away in there. Um, look at that. Look, we're only down, was it 87.1% in the battery. And yeah, it does draw a bit of power. Like if I, if I just run, run through quickly here, like uh, that's pulling eight, uh, over eight amps, eight, nine amps. That's pulling out of there but you know it really doesn't matter because the solar's putting it back in um i also have the option of just turning the key and the dc to dc will charge it back up again so it's a win-win like it's really not that hard uh, i've had a few fair few people comment when i'm using the electric cooker the uh the 12 volt cooker there why don't you just use gas why don't you just you know light a fire do something like that it's not always an option at the places i go so it's it's actually cool to have another option um you know you don't always have a gas cooker on you it's not always convenient to light a gas cooker and this i can actually turn on and have on while i'm traveling so if i'm doing a long haul trip i can actually put food on and have it ready to go when i get there i just time it pull up put some dinner on uh drive a little bit more set up camp and then dinner's ready when i get there so it's very very good sorry about the water on the lens too guys let's check out this fish And this is why I put the uh, the baking paper in. It actually makes it really easy to remove whatever you're cooking. So look at that. And the pan's nice and clean. So I can put that down here like this. And that should be all ready to go. Now just, um, yeah. Look at this. Look at that beautiful little baked brim and i've got a fork here look at this there look at that cheek yummy the cheek meat into there let me get that out of there yum give that a mmm Fresh bake fish is awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, hot. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. And there we have it, all done and dusted. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, I know the footage in this, uh, some of the fishing footage was from the last video, but I did put at the end of that video, if you made it all the way to the end of it, that I was going to be um, doing the catch and cook in a separate video because it was dragging on. It was, it was um, over half an hour long. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, please like, subscribe, do all the stuff. Thank you to our Patreon patrons, uh, patreon.com forward slash Adam Kilpatrick. Thank you, Crab and Gear. Thank you, all of uh, uh, Cobber Country. Thank you very much, Shervy Power Products. You guys rock. Like, seriously, um, half the trips I do, I used to travel around doing all this stuff off the cuff, just, you know, using half-assed half -assed power solutions, um, all the rest of it. Chevy Power Products jumped in uh, as a sponsor of the channel and hooked us up, and bloody, they've literally asked for nothing except for I use their gear. That's what they've asked for. They supplied us some gear, and they've turned around and asked for nothing, but I use it and uh, show you guys in videos. And, man, it has been an absolute game changer. Lighting, uh, cooking, uh, charging my camera gear, all my different stuff. It has been an absolute game changer. So, Rick, all the team up there at Solar and Sats at Bundaberg, thank you so much. You guys have just changed my world when it comes to uh, travel and uh, being able to get out there and get off grid. Uh, you can check out their channels as well with uh, Chevy Power Products and also exploring off the grid uh which they do some fantastic trips away as well uh john o rick all the crew up there fantastic guys a whole lot of them so thank you very much uh i've babbled on enough we'll see us on the next one and all have a good one bye bye haha <laughs>